ago that we first heard the name Natalie Holloway. Of course, it was Natalie's disappearance while she was on vacation in Aruba that introduced us to her and to her mother, Beth. Beth joins us now live. Beth, first and foremost, how are you feeling now that Joran Vandersloot is in prison, who a lot of people, I should say, believe is behind her disappearance? Well, I know he's exactly where he needs to be in prison, so that's a good thing. Now, you and the camera crew broke in to talk to him. What did you say to him, and what did he say back? Really, what I went there for was, you know, it was a step that I felt I needed to take in order to get to the position I am now to move, to move forward with other families. And, I, you know, for me, I went there to give him information, remind him I'm still here. So that's basically I, it. I can only imagine as a mother that I would want to at least have five minutes alone with him. And maybe that's what you got. And I think that every parent would, as you said, I, I think that all, all parents of, of a missing loved one would want to get face to face and eyes to eyes with the person that was responsible for their death or disappearance. And it was something I wanted to do. And, um, and I'm glad I, was, I had that opportunity to do so. You have become a champion of family rights through this process. And now you have your own show. It's called Vanished with Beth Holloway. Tell us about it. Well, Vanish is a program with a purpose. We want to shed enough light on a case for it to be solved. There are thousands of missing persons cases across the United States. It's practically an epidemic, but I do believe there's something we can help and we can all work together and give the families the answers they've been so desperately seeking. Now, but after going through what you have gone through, is it difficult when you're researching these stories, telling these people's stories? Do you feel it in a, diff in a way that you didn't expect? Oh, absolutely, Tanya, and sometimes these cases, I mean, they're, the pain I feel for them is greater than my own. I realize they, you know, some of them are just, you know, would just looking for any thread to have just, just any thread, a shed of light to, to begin to move forward in their search for their missing loved ones. So, yeah, the, the pain is, is, as I said, sometimes greater than my own for them. And Beth, truly, I mean, maybe in some time, sometimes it wasn't enough for you, but your daughter's case had so much publicity, and there are cases like this, as you mentioned, happening all the time that no one really hears about. So this is a great opportunity for these families. Right, it is. And it, like I said, I never could have imagined this platform and being able to help families, you know, re-highlight their loved one's case, and the media is such a powerful tool in being able to help them. Well, it is called Vanished. We wish you the best, Beth, in everything and all of your endeavors. Thank you. And it premieres tonight, Vanished, with Beth Holloway at 10 on Lifetime Television. Our thanks to Lifetime for that satellite time.